ECS Europe. Of course, we're going into our second matchup of the day, and that will be between Envious and Dignitas. Now, Map One, Cobble, what's your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be. I mean, I love casting Cobble games for a start. I think there's a lot of diversity yeah. in there, uh, and I, you know, I think it one that lends itself to both teams fairly well. Um, I, I'm mm. interested to see Envious performing on it because, of course, they have had the uh, the roster changes lately. Yeah. I think it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Dignitas, I believe so far, they haven't had the most impressive results uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I think, are they bottom? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty, pr I'm sure, pretty sure they are at the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, they, they are 0-4. Uh, yeah, so not it's the best not, start in the yeah, world. It's not going to lead them in the best It's not the end place. of the world yet, though. It's still quite early days. Yeah, They've still got plenty true. of games to play. So, uh, they're not out by any stretch, but a 2-0 win today would definitely be a great, great help. But... The big problem is we sort of saw them play Cobble. But we actually saw them play Envy as well just a day or two ago up in, uh, I think that was in Pro League, and Envy won both maps. So it definitely isn't looking yeah. too good at the moment. Of course, they have had some good form. They've played in WSG. They've won it. We've seen Ruger, the coach, lose his beard. He, that was the bet. If they got to a final, he had to lose his beard. That was the is bet that, that was going on. That is actually a thing. And uh, he has shaved his beard off. He is a man of his word. And... Well, they then went on to win the tournament. And to so think, I did, it, I did it today completely by accident, uh, moments before we went yeah, live. Yeah, you, you uh, should be basically making teams win tournaments yeah, to should. shave your beard. Just the motivation. The only thing is, you may end up quite... Depending on who you choose. Like if, if you choose someone like VP, maybe you'll be all right. Or, or Godsend. I mean, Godsend, no. I mean, Godsend, it would just grow <laughs> and just keep growing endlessly. Gandalf level of beard. Uh, yeah, to the point, it, it would just be so ginger. And it just, <laughs> I, just terrible. And no, it, that would be it. My, my whole life, just gone. So you're a bit of a godsend. Yeah, yeah. Them by the <laughs> sounds of it. <laughs> no, just like no. They're never, I'm, ever going I'm, to I'm win I'm just anything. saying, it's been pretty disappointing so far. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. They haven't been too much, but we're not going onto their map. We're, no, we're, we're not. We're going all the way. Well, full circle, guys. Full circle. We're going back, of course, to Dignitas versus Envy. Now, as a matchup, as a map, I think it's, as you said, pretty good for both of them. I don't think there's anything really to argue in that factor. Now, of course, six are being added. I have to say, I was a skeptic at the time. I was thinking, in terms of actual talent level, I really was looking towards the sort of devil side of thing and thinking, is that really an upgrade? He's had some great performances, and as a sort of support role, he really has done his job well. Either way, enough waffle for me. We're into the pistol. We'll take it away, Harry. Yeah, we're going to be heading straight into this one. And while Dignitas, they go aggressive early on with Config, trying to exert some pressure in towards drop. He's, of course, boosted up, just ready and waiting to try and do some damage. He's not able to land too much while the rest of Envious make their way out on towards A. It's going to be Magic Spoiler to try and open this up. And he does so, takes the head clean off of MBK. And the push, though, from Envious, not slowing down as much as it would usually. They want to try and keep this one going. They're fully dedicated. They're able to find one out of MSL, but that's going to be it. As Magic Spoiler and Rubino make short work of the approaching. Envious members just shut him down one by one. Rubino finds himself a second on the board, and it's config to end it. Yeah, oh, nice start. And I think it's important that Rubino gets off to a good start. He's another player. We spoke about Twist in the last one being sort of up and down. We've seen him on Cobble before. He's taken maps into his own hands. Other times, he's really not there at all. And I think he's sort of that sort of wow factor where if Dignitas are going to be at their very best, they need him. Of course, he didn't play in WSG, so he's still on that sort of train of wanting to win a tournament with his team. But um, I definitely think they can. And, well, MBK, I've always said he's always good for one deke shot. And uh, he's got the first kill straight away. Yeah, he's able to find one for the side of Envious, who, of course, on this into a four spy. It's going to be a nice start to take to try and hold back the tide that is Team Dignitas. And well, now it's all going to leave MSL and Cajun B over here towards the A site to try and hold this one down. Once again, three members of Envious out towards Long. MSL looking to get a little bit aggressive with the Famous out here. Flash is going to be making its way on through for him. Doesn't really find too much success, though, and he can't capitalize on it as a result. It's just going to be looking back to fall on passively in towards that A site, leaving in the hands of Cajun B. Looks to go a little bit aggressive, but ultimately Team Dignitas taking this one slowly because they are already at one-man disadvantage. Yeah, it's, it's a bit scary as well because they've invested five rifles into this round, which is not a common buy in the second round at all. They've gone flat rifles, no SMGs, no money-making. This is basically making money off keeping it clean. It really limits their utility as well. And Bolt now, Config, he's going to be lost as well. So this is not so clean, luckily, Cajun will be able to bring this back, making it a little bit less damaging. Of course, Happy's found another in the meantime, and this is a two versus two. This is actually a really scary round at the moment as Rubina will go down as well. Cajun's left alone, has managed to bring it back once again, but he's in an even standpoint, and luckily for them, he picks up four kills in a round. But if you have five rifles versus five pistols, that goes down to a 1v1 or 1v2 even. Things have gone a bit wrong. 
Yeah, no, definitely so. I mean, I don't think that anyone was really ready for that sort of a scoreline to be presenting itself. You can see the clutch here from Cajun B as he found himself in that one versus two. Does pick up both the frags, but still with only one player surviving when you invest so heavily, it's not going to bode well for the economy of Team Dignitas. And you can see that right now. They've got a MP9 on the back of MSL, a UMP on config, and Rabina's going to be repping the Mag7 life. Yeah, they, they need to keep this one clean. The fact is going into the next round, they may even have more of a bonus than they really played for. If you buy five rifles, the goal is to basically keep all five. To keep one is definitely not something you want to be doing. Either way, still a couple of deagles in play at the moment for the T side. So still the potential for damage, but at the same time, there's no armor behind it. There's no utility to play with. They're just going off pure aim. But then again, it's Envy. Yeah, no, and that, that, that's kind of the, the, the fighting play right there. Six, second, a bit of find one, but it's going to get traded into by KGB. He's going to be a little bit peckish, looking for his second, and he finds it in the form of Happy. He's going to take him down. Now it's all on Kenny. Kenny actually doesn't spot out Rubino. Misses the first shot. Kenny still doesn't spot out Rubino. Uh, Rubino has enough time to then recock the old uh, Mag 7 and uh, has enough time to actually go again. So uh, Kenny, a little bit slow there. Might want to yeah. might whittle around with his headphone jack, make sure that was plugged in probably. It's going to allow Dignitas to pick up a third round on the board and kind of... You know, even out their economy a little bit better. It's a little bit stronger, but um, it's not good. Yeah, we're going to be seeing Rubino once again still with that Mag 7 and Envious on a rifle buy. Yeah, this is the big thing. This is a great opportunity for Envy to actually pull out a reset very early on in the game. At the same time, if the CT, CT side can win this, then it's all in vain anyway, the amount of damage that's been done. So really looking towards Team Dignitas here. Now, Rubino, he is with that Mag 7 once again, playing drop. Nothing too uncommon there. In fact, almost... I'd say a decent opportunity to put it in that position. Either way, the rest of the CTs, we do see two players over towards A and Apex. He's very good at entries, and well, he's going to do it again over towards drop down, pushing in, looking for a little bit more. MBK's found another, and this is falling apart for the CT side. They will only have two rifles left, and with their money, if they save two, I think they have a chance to buy. So really, they should be falling back now. Yeah, I mean, it is a two on five after plant scenario now. Envious. Looking to be in a very good place with this one. Bomb is just going to be ticking away. And you can only see Mag Magis Boy and MSL, they don't want to be going for this. I mean, they've got too many members of Envious left to find. And, you know, it, it, it's a pretty tall task to ask them to have to go in there and try and do that. So the bomb is going to be going off. They're trying to save the M4s. But Envious will be getting their first round on the board. The question is, with their economy looking the way it is, are they going to actually go and try and hunt? It's looking like Happy's a little bit curious. But other than that, everyone else on the team just looking to play things nice and nice and passively. Of course, first round win. If you can keep it perfectly clean, then in the next few, you can start of taking a few sort of dividends back, make yourself some extra cash. And Happy even going to go for a little bit of a wall bank. Does find a shot onto MSL, but nothing that's going to scare him too much. Wall fall back. And well, now you can sort of look at the money. There should be enough for them to go for something. I would say that there's probably going to be a player on the pistol at least. And well, they may not even opt to go for this. I think they probably will. And Well, in fact, it is going to be a Mag 7 chucked over to Rubino. So an almost identical buy to what we had in the last round. However, Envy now have even more nades to play with. And they're going to look to go for, well, it seems a similar strat as they build up towards B early doors. Yep, they're making their way in there very early on, like you say. And they're going to leave NBK back in towards mid. He's just spotting it out, waiting for the aggression from Magic Boy. He's looking to be a little bit curious, like he wants to try and go for some sort of aggression here, but with only the M4 and have the most utility on his team, you can tell he's not really thinking it's going to be worth it. Meanwhile, over towards B, a little bit of damage exchange for the smoke on platform as Kenny does get tagged down to 84 HP. He's just hiding by some boxes now, trying to buy his time. The rest of his teammates, on the other hand, looking to be going aggressive as they do peek down in towards drop. They spot out Rubino as well. Good idea as to where he is. They know where these players are. Cajun B, they're going to be the player to start things off. Finds one on the Apex. It's going to be the early advantage going the way of uh, Dignitas, sorry. Now Config is going to be trapped here. He's able to find one, but that's going to be all as he does get traded down. And they do manage to get control of the platform. You can already see Dignitas slowly giving up this site, but Rubino not ready to give it up just yet. Does find one and a happy. That's going to lock Ooh. out. Drop down, but NBK, they both line up for him. And now it's Magist Boy versus NBK. NBK's already got three frags to his name, and he's got to get the fourth to try and clutch this one out. Yeah, he's so low on HP. The Molotov on Magist could be enough to finish him off if he decides to use it. Seems to think that it's coming in from behind, but... It's actually the rock position Dwayne is being held, and now we look to see what MBK can actually do. His position is all but definitely known. I'm hoping Magis will just throw out the Molotov and pretty much end it there. And then he needs to connect the shot. Actually, both players miss, and it gives more time, more pressure onto Magisk. Just one bullet needed to the head, and maybe he's out of the round as well. 
Of course, we're just waiting, really. 15 seconds left on the clock. MBK, he has to make his move. And eventually, it does seem that this is playing into the hands of the CT side. Doesn't even seem like he has a chance to plant now. So just has to go for the kill. And Magisk will play it well, play it calm, and eventually close the round. Yep, sadly we didn't see an MB clutch as uh, he doesn't come up trumps in that one. It's going to go four to one. MBS, they do get there. Uh, sorry, I mean, Ting Dignan has to get a chance at coming back into this. Why do I keep messing these guys around? I, d I don't know why that is, but yeah, no dig. They're going to be finding themselves on a fourth round now. NVS able to buy up into this one, though, regardless. Five AKs across the board and plenty of utility as well. As we head now into round number six, they'll be setting four players out mid aggressively early on. Magis Boy and MSL here to try and hold back the tide of Envious players that might be coming through that mid door any second now. Yeah, of course, again, they're still skimping on utility and it. It will be another reset. That, that's the big problem. Whichever team loses this is going to be the one with the economy troubles. Now the CT side already with four rounds on the board. Not looking too bad so far. So still have to look towards the T side and say this is your opportunity to get that boost start. To get yourself rolling into this T half. Of course still expecting the T's to win the half at least. But it isn't necessary or necessarily true on this map of all. Either way, quite a bit of long presence coming in from the T side at the moment. And there's three players on the A side, which is almost somewhat of a stack. It seems the read coming out at the moment from Dignitas is a very good one. And with MSL already spotting another player, it's looking like Envy are about to push in straight to a stack. Either way, they still have the man advantages in terms of the plays. And well, Cajun, again, he's found the first pick doing his job. But Sixer is there to trade. MSL's position could be all but perfect. He finds one, peeks out. Cajun still doing work. And Sixer's managing to do all the work for his team. Yep, he's got three already. He needs the ace to try and put this one away. He knows where MSL is, but sadly, Conflict coming in from SWAT is able to find him, takes him down. And manages to secure that round on the board for Team Dignitas. It's going to go five and one. It was looking like Envious could have made their way back into that one there. Six does find three nice frags, but sadly, I mean, you know, with, with the weight of the world on his shoulders, it was just too much to bear. So it's going to be round number seven now. And a nice buy on the cards from Dignitas once again. Rubino just maining that Mag 7. Uh, of course, just the dedicated Mag 7 player for his team. Uh, the only player who's allowed to pick it up, I believe, within the European region. MSL going to be starting this one off. They find one into MBK out in towards mid. That's going to be the early man advantage chucked away of Team Dignitas and also slows down the aggression on the side of Envious. Yeah, already a nice CT side. A little bit shaky from Dignitas. They've had a couple of rounds that were skeptical, but this one at least is just looking like a straight clean-up round, which is exactly what they need. They want to build their economy. They know that MV are going to be coming back at them quite strong, although you have to remember that one round could actually be a bit of a curse because it stops their loss bonus building up as much as it would have done, and they won't be able to get as much money on the board. Of course, Kenny Zorp is definitely a prominent factor to bring in on this map. He has at times single-handedly carried them through it, almost in his little Doria the Explorer backpack with everybody else just sitting in waiting. And speak of the man, he shall appear. He'll remove his opposition or at least for now. But I think Magis should be ready and waiting. Getting a little bit close, but he will find his third kill. And that's another on the board already for Dignitas as they are 6-1 up. Yeah, they've started this off in a very good way indeed. Five rounds of difference between them and Envious currently. And it looks to continue as the economy on the side of the CTs is looking increasingly better by the round. Envious once again are going to be on the back foot. They force by up Tech Nines and Deagles and have two smokes and a flash to try and play around. But that's enough to get them in towards this B site with enough aggression. That's, ex that's looking like exactly what they're going to be doing. Rubino is going to get boosted up though. He's got the Mag 7 and this is it. This is where he's just going to be mowing them down as they push in towards B. Potentially going to look to farm some money. They do check the angle. Apex is going to get tagged, but that's going to be it. And Rubino going to be sticking in this position. They know where he is and they find him on the pre-fire. Kenny has there to trade things out. Ooh. Finds a second as well, putting that Mag 7 on use. That's how you use it, Rubino. <laughs> and now it's a three on three. Config looking to go aggressive out long. Might be able to find something onto Happy. Takes him down and now it's all Kenny. Once again, finds himself in a horrible scenario, and he's going to get taken down. Config finds him and secures a seventh round on the board for Team Dignitas. Yes, it's quite interesting at the moment. You've only had a couple of players step up in each round. It's not really been a team effort. Happy, not really on the map just yet. Only really notable thing from Apex has been that one entry kill jumping into drop down. And it is getting a little bit worrying at this point because now seven rounds on the CT side. Cage him on the AWP, but Kenny's right back at him. So that extra money made, of course, the Mag 7 shot is going to allow him to get Kevlar, head armor, and some nades behind it. So definitely beneficial for him to actually get that in hand. But now they need to make their play. Now they need to actually step up because otherwise it's likely that we'll be seeing at least nine rounds on the CT side. And, well, we've already seen in the last match that really that's not too good. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's, it's just not enough. 
Apex going to be the player to try and open this one up. Some would say he's one of the uh, one of the best entry fraggers in the world as he looks to try and take something down in towards drop. And well, he would be the man to do it. Of course, Rubino hanging close around the corner with a Mag 7 in hand. MSL is going to be the first to fall. And Rubino, once again, how do you fluff that many shots with the Mag 7? I complimented you. And now it's all on config, left alone on the site. He's isolated, does find one, but that's going to be it. And in the blink of an eye, it's all on Magis by one versus four. And he's got so many Frenchmen left to find. Yeah, that's the position you want Apex in. Right there, and then he's out. Oh, man, just still giving this a damn good go. Kenny has to finish him off, but he even gets tagged down to 27. A little bit more of a spray, and it's down to that 1v1 once again. So a little bit worrying there. And, well, MV, their money's still not going to be in a safe position as the CTs will buy back up. But you have to remember, they're losing so many players, even in these consistent winning rounds. The, the CT side are actually on the brink of a reset as well. So this round, another, where it's seeming like we're having a lot of pinnacle rounds in terms of how many will be won overall. Rounds that can really change the map. And so far, well, the aggression will be in play once again. Looking to go for a little bit of a boost with Kenny going for the peak. He wants to try and find that opening pick once again. And while the CT side, in terms of utility at least, they are a little bit limited. Yeah, they don't have the best kind of... Uh Utility, uh, utility to try and hold this one back. NBK towards mid, trying to exert some pressure on him. He's saying all his team working on that B play. He's, of course, playing the Lurk Rod, trying to keep these guys here, trying to kill the Rotators, and that's going to work out quite well. There are two players right now over towards his A site for Team Dig, and they that he could potentially try and hold on back. Rubino hasn't been too good at holding down this drop down area. Let's see if he can try and improve it as he switches over towards yeah. the M4. No more Mac. Yeah, no more Mac. I think that's... Uh, should be on one of his t-shirts, I don't know. But there we go, he's going to pick up one frag. MSL chimes for one of his own as well. And what config, he's going to fall, does come up short in that engagement. It's going to go three on four and six is able to find one. But it doesn't win them too much control over towards B. And look at this play from Magis Boy as well, flanking all the way away, all the way back through mid. It does mean that they're going to be very exposed here if he can do some damage coming in from behind. And that's exactly what he does. Six is going to be 13 HP now, and they are now stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, they seem to be pincered in from an awful lot of angles, really looking towards MBK as their main point of entry. But never mind, Kenny peeks out, finds that first. MSL is gone and dusted. And while well, MBK, he's not going to achieve anything coming out from drop. It's all going to be on Kenny. Sixer, he's low on HP. They have to try and get this bomb down. And what well, they're going for broken. Well, that's going to give away where they're going. Surely, or maybe not. Cajun not ready for it. Rubino, oh, he's going to get ended as Kenny. well. Uh, Kenny has just turned up in a big, big way. What on earth? I, I didn't even see the last one coming as well. What just happened? Dora is fully out. He, he's got the little straps on and he's taking them through this round. No, that was absolutely insane. Coming back from the brink of defeat in a scenario like that. I mean, just look at this, this shot here. That was insane. That is that is classic Kenny. You don't get more Kenny than that. And uh, ultimately, it's going to allow him to pick up a third round on the board. 7-3 is the scoreline currently. Team Dignitas now going to be on the back foot once again. Forced into an eco. And now they're going to have to try and remedy this problem. Envious, looking strong. Let's be to round number 11. Yeah, he I've just realized as well, we spoke about the sort of economy game. What a time for him to come up, Trumps. What an absolutely ridiculous time. We get a little bit, we get a little bit more time to talk about it. Of course, we do have somewhat of a problem, it seems, as the round is not going to be live at the moment. But other than that, yeah, just talk about that round in general. So that round was basically one of the teams was getting reset. And, well, really the biggest problem overall was that Kenny just goes huge and basically resets them himself. Yeah. And uh, speaking of resets, that round uh, just then that started playing out isn't actually going to be live. Nice and transition. And we're going to be... Uh, yeah, I know, right? The, the transition. <laughs> that's by British that's, ruined, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, sadly, yeah, it is going to be replayed. So uh, we'll have more of an update on that as it goes through. No but damage yeah. done, so it yeah. shouldn't be a problem anyway. Yeah, no, they just started, so it's all good. But yeah, no, that, that round there from Kenny was absolutely insane. And he turned up exactly when they needed him to. He picks up four huge frags and locks in another round on the board. That's exactly what you need. I mean, they were going into that with such a huge deficit that Kenny turning up and doing something like that, like you say, yeah. he's someone that can carry you through these maps where the AWP is just so incredibly viable. Even on maps where the AWP isn't viable. If Kenny's having a good day, then his team's having a good day too. So, what, Even on this map, you say the T side of Cobble, in terms of AWPing, I think one of my favorite ways to actually play the AWP actually came out from Team Spirit, which isn't the most, it's sort of a surprising thing, but what they sometimes do is they send someone in as a runner who basically just goes, okay, I'm going to run into the round and basically just be cannon fodder. Yeah. And then they set up a player on plat to just AWP, which is, of course, Davkos. And I really like that style, but it is quite a hard map to AWP, and a lot of the time you're either peeking into very aggressive angles, which after the Kenny nerf isn't so easy anymore. And, um... Well, at the same time, he still manages to do it. He still manages to make it work. And 
Oh, well, there you go again. This time it is just against pistols, but he is the headshot. Config doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, no, not at all. He's going to get take, taken down straight off the bat. Sorry. Well, MSL looking to try and make something happen in towards mid. Does have a P250 in hand, but he's going to be facing off against MBK at some point, trying to play the Lurk roll. Just wants to do a little bit of damage. Does MBS actually double back? Would have been a good opportunity to see him pick up some Franks, but sadly he goes over aggressive in mid, overextends a bit, and MBK does find it. Meanwhile, in towards drop happy. Just wreaking some havoc, takes down Rubino, and it's just the thorn in the sides, preventing too much of a rotate here. You can really see Magis Boy not going to be going for it, leaving it all on Cajun B to try and make something happen in towards the A site. So far, not so good. Dignitas, well, they had that sort of big advantage. They've already got seven rounds, so it's not too much of a detriment either way, but th when you get to that sort of standpoint of being a little bit far in front, you want to get yourself as many rounds as you can. So I'm feeling they're going to want eight or nine at least after the way they've started. Of course, this round is a little bit of a no-show. It's just pistols in play. Magis will at least get a CZ to give him a chance, but Happy will finish him off as well, picking up three eco frags for himself and at least padding his stats a little bit. Yeah, and stat padding is what I'm all about. So, uh, yeah, it's going to go 7-4. Envious, they managed to get another round on the board and in a very dominating fashion as well. Their economy is looking really strong. You got five thousand seven hundred dollars up on NBK and Envious. And they're gonna be in a great uh, and Envious. Why? Why did I just call Kenny? I mean, to be fair, that may as well what you'd be calling him at this point. He's he's been the force to be reckoned with. But uh, you know, yeah, he's got a lot of money, is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna be seeing some aggression out long from the side of Team Dignitas. But NBK is here to try and deal with it. Does find one, but then they double peek him at the end to get the trade, put it back into a four and four, and now they have Magic Boy in a very good position, going aggressive in towards A. Yeah, have to be very careful here. The flash is gonna come through, but he's still able to not. Well, he spotted as of yet. Yeah, the timing. Oh, just about going to stay alive in that position in his config. He goes down. In the meantime, we have lost a couple of other players. Kenny's still alive, though, and we've already seen him go mad once. Missing a couple of shots. Going to peek back out. They almost line up, and he'll switch over to the tech. Two versus two. Happy is there to support, but playing a little bit further back, just letting his teammate style. And Kenny, what what is going on? Both of them have just pulled out their knives at the horrible moment, but MSL still grabs Happy in the meantime. I'm a little bit confused with what just went on. They almost went for a hug and just decided to pull back. But either way, 1v1. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what just happened to my voice either. I, it literally lost for words. But it's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Kenny S looking to redeem himself after him and uh, him and MSL touched the uh, tips of their barrels there. And now he's going to be falling back in towards this A site. MSL, though, hot on his heels, trying to come in from behind. He's just going to find him through the wall anyway because Kenny tries to go aggressive and it's going to get punished for it. MSL secures that round for Team Dignitas. It's going to go 8 4 with four rounds of the difference between these two teams. Yeah, and I really want to just point out the sort of fragging at the moment currently on the sort of other side of things. So like you've got the Dignitas team, I think it's 9 9 9 9 10 in terms of kills. So they really are just spread across the board at the moment, everybody having their moment. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a look at our faces. Yeah, no, that was just a, I just uh, that was just to remind you guys that the hair is out of balance. Uh, it's gonna yeah. go eight four. Yeah, no, it is. I should just share some of mine. I have too much, mm. got too little. It, it it makes perfect sense. But anyway, we're gonna be heading into this eight four, like we say. And now, Magis Boy over towards Long looks to be the one to try and open this up. As it is going, Envious dedicated on towards A. Kenny S finds the first frag. It's gonna go four on five. With the one-man advantage leaning the way of Envious now, and they're going to be trying to capitalize on the, the sheer aggression in towards A. But Cajun B as MSL, they both come out on top, find two frags between them. They put into a three on four as Envious continue this take of the A site. Sixer will manage to find another, and Cajun, in fact, winning the AWP duel. But it will be back to a two versus two, and the weaponry on Dignitas is not going to be the best going into this one. Config with the UMP will manage to trade it back. And now it's Sixer. The one versus one knows where his opposition is, but shooting the vent will give a little bit of time and actually catches him by surprise. But all that's going to do is even up the HP. 46-51. It comes down to the last few seconds. Sixer seems to have the jump on his opposition, but it's Config to hit the headshot and managing to win this round for his team. No idea how Sixer didn't get that kill. I think both of them should have had it at different times. Where the sort of the peaks, either one, it could have gone either way, but eventually it's the pistol headshot, the P2000. And Dignitas as well, they're keeping these pretty close. Last round of one versus two coming in for MSL. This round, it comes in for Config, but they get themselves their nine rounds, and Envy's economy, well, it's in the toilet. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good on the side of Envy. It's only struggling a little bit to try and field the buy. Dignitas, on the other hand, they're doing a great job of keeping it up in the air, keeping the economy going, and... Just a little replay here of Config landing that lovely shot there on a sixer. But now we're going to be heading into round number 14. Nine fours is the scoreline currently, and Envious with a four spy. They've got the, they've got uh, an AK up on sixer and Happy. 
Tech Nines across the board, going aggressively out and towards Route B. Rubino, the uh, Mag 7 isn't going to come in handy at that range, my friend. Conflict to find the first. That'll take down Kenny S. Keeps the aggression going, pushing through the smoke. Able to uh, do some damage, but that's going to be it. And now MSL picks up two frags of his own. Looking to try and hold down this site solo as the rotate's coming in. He's got to try and buy some time, and that's exactly what he's going to do from this position. Finds one. And the information still doesn't even realize they didn't know he was there. Happy is going to get taken down by Magis Boy anyway. But still, I mean, how, how didn't they know the whereabouts there of MSL? I think it came down to, well, for starters, after the last kill, it came down to just happy anyway. So either he was looking at the guy in front or behind. Either way, he was probably dead. So I kind of understand that decision. But yeah, overall, a sort of lot of weird plays coming in. MSL seemingly on the right end of most of them now. He's, he's pulled out a clutch. He's pulled out a 3K to win them around a force buy. And all that means, Envy, well, instead of one buy and an eco, you're coming out with two force buys. Luckily, Apexy is there to find himself that entry. I can't deal with Rubino right now. That hasn't even got a Mag 7 kill yet. He's used it like 20 out of the last 15 rounds, and he still hasn't even found one frag with it. Now he's uh, trying to see the fruits of that. Kenny S is able to find a second frag after picking up the M4, puts it into a 2 on 2, and well, Bomb is dropped in a very promiscuous location indeed. They've got to try and get this one back. Magis Boy and Cajun B, they're fully aware though of the nature of this positioning, and they're trying to hold this one down. They're going to get spotted out by Happy. He does land some good damage on the back of that Deagle, so this round is by no means done just yet. Yeah, looking towards the T's to try and push in. They've got plenty of time. That's the one benefit they have. The only problem is, well, they've now lost one of their players. Kenny will be there to trade. It comes down to the one, but it's the USP. The pistols seem to be finishing off every single one of these clutches. And again, Dignitas win it. And, well, that's been a big pinnacle factor, actually. Apart from the one clutch that was won by Kenny, every other one has gone the way of Dignitas. They're just winning every single one of these positions. And, unfortunately, that means they've come out with an 11-4 CT half. And... You think about how close some of these rounds are, that's that's pretty damn good. And, well, on the CT side, that's actually pretty incredible, in fact. Yeah, no, no, definitely. I mean, normally we see teams on the uh, on the T uh, Well, it does depend on the team, I would say, with Cobble, but uh, it can be a very, very T-sided map. Mm. So to go ahead and get 11 on the side of the counter, this is always going to be a good start indeed. Now we're going to be heading into round number 16, the first round of the second half. Let's see how they throw in the pistol. Apex looking to try and fall back from long with the Shadow Daggers out and about, just trying to make his way back. And look at this look at this positioning from Team Dignitas. They send the guys down in towards mid. It looks like it's going to be long. And well, Six is going to get comp caught completely off guard. As a result, he's going to get taken down. Magis Boy keeping the aggression going. Gets in behind enemy lines. Does some great damage. Takes down Kenny. The remaining three envious players trapped on this A site. And now they're rotating in towards B on the side of Dignitas. But it doesn't matter as Cajun B comes up ramp, finds two frags. Apex finally put a stop to this slaughter. He's able to get one, but Cajun B comes comes up huge, finds three frags there, and it's going to go 12-4. It just managed to take more map control than they should ever have deserved. The rotation was so quick from Envy that it actually catches them out. You can see them here. They've already got two on the site, and then the sort of second two players have already made their way back in to rotate. And this just means that the T's just go ducking through the smoke. Man just realizes everybody's already trapped in, and everything just comes up trumps for Dignitas. A nice round, but a little bit of luck going their way. And... All this leaves now the pistols. Now, we know Envy can use these. We know that the Deegs are all but prominent in their hands. But they've got a lot coming their way, Apex. However, he's going to start things off. Make that a second. Looking for the third, but it's actually going to be Kenny for his team at least. And, well, they're prominent with the pistols. Maybe even they're going to win this round with the pistols. It's down to just Convict. He's surrounded. And Envy, they give themselves a lifeline. Yeah, they're able to cling back into this. They do find the conversion round there where Team Dignitas, they picked it up. It could have gone 13, uh, 13 to 4. And uh, they would have been in line as well to pick up a 14th. Would have put them one round away from match point. So being able to cancel that out now ahead of time is going to bode very well for them. Of course, a uh, huge shout out there to Apex over towards Long. Finds those two frags with the Deagle. And that is what kind of starts, gets the ball rolling for his team. Ultimately, it is going to be the round going the way of Envious. Now, Dignitas trying to get the return back into this. They go five Tech Nines. Oh, Plenty they're of going utilities. fast. Oh, but look at that flash from Happy. It's going to land perfectly, but he doesn't find anything off the back of it. He slows down the push and does so much damage. Apex once again in towards Long, putting in some work. Kenny Esto is going to be the man with the frags. Finds two. And now this bomb is going to be dropped in a very bad position indeed. It's all on Magis Boy in the bleak line. One versus four. He's got the M4 in hand. He's going to do a little bit of damage, but Happy answers back with an oosp. Yeah, he had some great positioning. Managed to get all the way around the back. Unfortunately, by the time he actually goes to make his play, everyone on his team is dead. And well, now Envy actually do have a decent way to get back into this one. They can build up some cash. A six is just going to go with the pistol this round, but they know that there's not too much coming back on the other side. And I think 
they get this round, they get themselves maybe an AWP onto Kenny as well, they actually have a good chance to bring this one back. I wouldn't say it's anything too crazy just yet, and Dick should still be confident going into this one. And while that nade, counter nade's just working perfectly for Kenny and Happy, combining to just end this push, and MBK will even grab a couple towards the end for himself. Yep, that round before, uh, over before it even begins, as uh, Envious just completely mop up Dignitas. Finally, though, they would have filled to buy their own. Magic Boy's going to be picking up the uh, orb and dropping that over to Cajun B. So everyone on their side going to be having their, you know, correct and, uh, you know, best respective weapons for, for how they play. Four rifles backed up, of course, by the orb on Cajun B. Very limited, though, in terms of utility. They don't choose to sacrifice the firepower. They go full on with the AKs and have five smokes, three flashes to try and play around with, get them out onto the sides. Uh, three players currently in mid for the side of Dignitas. The remaining players making their way in towards uh, the B site, though. Occasion B with the orb is going to get pushed out of position as those smokes land on through and render his position somewhat obsolete. Yeah, a little bit of a skimp coming in for Magisk, though. He doesn't have any head armor, so the M4s have become that little bit more deadly. Of course, two AKs picked up do mean that it's not too much of a problem for the majority of players he's going to face. But Apex, with a UMP, going to try and make a little bit of extra money. That's the player he wants to aim for now. As said, the, well, both teams now seemingly have very little utility left. Six are in a decent position, but Config, already pushing so far, may be able to catch him out of position now. Config is, of course, just the lurker, and as the push comes in, there's only two players on the B side. This is where the big problem relies. MBK has to go huge, and Kenny, he has to do just as much now. He's the only player left on the site. Config has found two on the other. He's just just a fake. This leaves two players left to try and defend against everyone else. And Kenny, well, he's got this orb. He has to do it all over again. Yeah, it's going to be a very tough position indeed. Able to find one, but that's going to be it. Does swap out of the CZ. Rubino shows him that at close range is no match for the superior, or, superiority sorry, of an AK-47. 13-7 now is the scoreline. Dignitas, they managed to get another round on the board. I think that was a reaction. I, I think that was actually a big reaction to the way that we've seen Dignitas play. I think almost every round they've been edging their way over towards the A site. Yeah, play so for the fakes. You see three players yeah. just bump onto that A site and then Config, well, he actually takes two with him anyway, but then the rest of the team, they just hit the two players on A and that's already a problem. Cage if he's going to catch Kenny low, but it will be Sixer to find the first kill of the round. A lot of HP loss and again, Config finding a pick for his team has been pinnacle so far in actually finding these entries onto the T side. And, well, Rubino now looking to do the same again. There's still no idea where the bomb's actually going. They've got a 2-2 split. Config will find a second entry kill onto A. And the bomb, well, it's going to be hitting onto B. Yeah, it's making its way out. Magic Boy's going to be getting boosted up and might be able to find ourselves some frags from this position. MSL actually finds one into MBK. This position's going to bode very, very well, though, for the side of Dignitas 6. Uh, Trying to play things nice and sneaky so over here by the site. Yeah, it's so low on the side of Envious. Kenny Esso is able to get one with the AWP, showing that you don't need HP, you just need aim, and that's exactly what he's got. Picks up one frag. And six are in a great position as well to try and lurk out onto the site. I'm not sure they know that he's here. Is MSL's going to get taken down, so this situation gets completely flipped on its head. Rubino does chime back in with the return frag, puts it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Kenny's only got 15 HP left, but he does have the AWP in hand. Yeah, the big problem, though, he hasn't got a kit, and I wonder if there's actually one to be found. Now, of course... He does have that one-shot capability. He has the opportunity to find one. He has actually grabbed the kit. He's just going to go straight for the defuse. And actually, he may be able to get this. Never mind. Rubino is there to finish things off for his team. So there we go. Dignitas, they get a little bit close. I have to say, at the moment, Config is just absolutely flying. Like, that's twice now. He's just walked solo onto A and found two kills. It just shouldn't be happening. He shouldn't be able to do that. And... Well, considering how the rest of the round went, it comes down to a much closer scenario. You don't have those players going down. The retake is much, much easier. Either way, full investment coming in for Envy. They are not going to be fighting for overtime. They're going straight in with the buy in this round. I wonder how much is skimping. Quite a lot, in fact. Double Mag 7, UMP pistol, only one rifle. Apex, well, you've got a lot of work to do. Yep, he's got to try and land some insane shots indeed. But here's the man to do it as he is going to be the one with the M4. Three players right now on the side of Envious in towards A, and MBK and Six are getting up close and personal in towards the B site, just touching the tips of their barrels there, up towards the platform area. The Mag-7 is going to come in handy, though, on the back. Uh, sorry, the uh, the UMP is going to come in handy on the back of Six. Uh, let's not forget as well about the Mag-7 on MBK, as it was looking like it was going to rotate away, but now he's opting to just play the hole in the wall once again. Four players currently here for Dignitas to... Magic Boy trying to make his way in through drop. Rubino there to start things off. That's fine. MBK is going to render the Mag 7 useless and Sixer as well. He's going to fall. So now it's a three on five. As Team Dignitas has to make their way out onto this site. They've still got the bomb yet to go down. Happy's in a position where he could potentially try and deny something here. But Rubino's forward location is not going to be allowed. That's going to be the frags going the way of Team Dignitas. Rubino picks up three huge frags there. 
and it's going to go 15-7. Yeah, Envy, for what, the third or fourth time, they seem to gamble going onto that A site, really hoping that there's a push in that direction. And last two rounds, yeah, Config walked in, cleaned up two of them, and almost gave them a reason to have players over towards A. This time, they just straight push B. There's barely any response in terms of the two players available because you have to remember they had a Mag-7 and a UMP versus those all-powerful AKs. And while going into the last round, they finally switched back to having three players on the B site. But with this buy, well, yes, they've done it with pistols before, but to do it on command is going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, no, definitely. So, I mean, you have got the two deagle, uh, deagles, though, on uh, MBK and Six. So they've shown to be fairly good with them in the past. And the MP9 on Kenny, always a curious buy, but I find it it just finds the head for you. It's like a built-in aimbot as uh, he's going to be wielding that weapon. Hopefully, the devastating effect. Two guys there for Envious right now over towards the A site in the form of Envious, uh, in the form of Happy. Why do I keep doing that? In the form of Happy. What, what's wrong with me? Uh, and Apex trying to hold this one down. The Mag 7's going to come in handy as Rubino looks to go out mid. He's playing the close angle, and this is exactly where you'd want to be in this position. We are going to go for the peak, but his head is going to be caved in by the Mag 7. MSL does find one out towards Apex, going to allow him to take long control, and this means that Happy is stuck between the remaining Dignitas players. Magis Boy coming in from behind. His signal, his position is going to be signaled, but he finds the frag anyway. And now it's all Kenny, one versus four. Kenny will be able to get one, and that's an AWP. Yeah, I was about to say, you want to pick that one up, Kenny. Not going to matter either way. Config continues how he has done in the rest of the map, and actually a very good performance across the board. Although maybe Rubino had some problems with the mag, he still had a decent performance overall. And in terms of just all of the players having their moments, it definitely seems to be the case. I'm really actually impressed by what we saw from Dignitas there. There was no one where we were going, oh no, that player's slacking behind. We've had MSL actually had a really good game in terms of his ability to clutch. He had a 3K where he sort of jumped through the smoke on the CT side. I think we had Cajun as well with some incremental moments. So there's no one I can really mention that I said, you know what, yeah, they were slacking for Dig. Now, on the other side, I was basically looking at Kenny and going, okay, is he going to yeah. win this round? No? Okay, that's probably it. That, that, that's the issue. It did feel like it was Kenny versus the world. Yeah, Kenny versus the world, and we'll see if that will be the case when we come back. A little bit of analysis, and then we're going straight on to map number two.